Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Look into your eyes and you will see what you mean to me. Search your heart and search your soul. And when you find me there, you'll search no more. Well, don't tell me it's not worth trying for. You can't tell me it's not worth dying for. You know it's true. Everything I do, I do it for you. You guys recognize it yet? Look into your heart. And you will find there's nothing there to hide. Take me as my as I am. Take my life. I would give it all. I would sacrifice. Don't tell me it's not worth fighting for. I can't help it. There's nothing I want more. You know it's true. Everything I do, I do it for you. Hey guys, welcome to Bells Bargains. My name is Amy. That was a little Brian Adams. Um, Welcome. Guess what? Today is... Holla for your dollar haul. Holla for your dollar haul. It's shopping Saturday, which means I have a haul for you, and I'm so excited because today, literally an hour ago, I checked out of a Dollar Tree, which is near where I live and is now a Dollar Tree Plus. Like, wait, what? Yes, Dollar Tree Plus. So I'm super excited. And I'm, I am like, uh-huh, Effingham, I, re I did. I went, I, Dollar Tree Plus. No, you can't go. Anyway, so I'm super excited to share this haul with you guys. Okay, if you're new here, consider subscribing and sticking around. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget, besties, thumbs up this video. Um, and I love to hear from you guys. So I do giveaways. I do lots of giveaways right now because of my very best friend, Eminem, who sent me all kinds of stuff to give away to help grow my channel. And today, today, all you have to do is, well, no, yes, is comment on this video and you're entered into the drawing. But last Saturday, I was giving away another set of these and I will be drawing that name at the end of this video. So stick around to find out who won the coveted set of the wood bead garlands, which are the Easter ones. So we've got the little bunny, the little carrot, and the little chickadee. But also next Saturday, big, big next Saturday, I will be giving away the gnomes as we get closer to Easter here. So. Don't forget to watch next Saturday when I give these away. All right, so today, I'm gonna, at the end of the video, I'll be drawing the name from last weekend. But for this video today, if you make a comment, you are entered in for a drawing for another set of these. So every Saturday, I'm giving something away. Okay, but before I dive into my haul, I have to just, I went to my mailbox and I got some mail and I'm just gonna like show some stuff that my bestie sent me. I love you all, you guys are the best. So this is from Dawn, my dear bestie in Texas, and I love what she did. So it's postcard drive month. Remember, 
You guys, in 2025, it's Besties Road. It's the Besties Road excursion to Dollar Trees. Can I come out and meet some of you guys? And so we've got a few years to plan for this. And so Dawn sent me an, a nice little card. And um, she said, hope you and your family are well. I'm sending you some postcards from my home state of Louisiana. I live in the place between New Orleans and Baton Rouge, going the state capital, going west. I also sent you a little book from the DT for a quick reference about the 50 states. Now, this is the best part. So my adopted state where I am right now is Texas, very close to Dallas. Um, so I will send you a postcard marked from here. Blessings, Dawn. So thank you, Dawn, very much. So what did she do? She sent me a package with postcards in it. Like, this is so fun. So these are all Louisiana postcards. I love this. There's New Orleans, a good old riverboat. Oh, I love the riverboats. And another New Orleans with a really cool recipe on it for an old-fashioned crawfish boil. Yes, never done one. And then just a really cool New Orleans, look at that, downtown. This reminds me of Disneyland. In Disneyland, they have the New Orleans place. It kind of looks like that. Anyway, um, so thank you very much for those, Don. They'll be going in the postcard pile. But this is the best part. <laughs> so I'm, I think I'm going to just start writing names on on different states, like which besties live in which one of these states. I think that'd be kind of fun. And it'll just become part of my wall of postcards and the map of the United States, which I will be doing at the, at the end of this month. So fun little book, love this. Thank you very much, Don. That was just absolutely so sweet of you. Very thankful for that. And then I got a postcard from another bestie. This is a beautiful photo. So this is from Teresa. She said um, she received her gift. She had won some calendars, so she got those. This is where I live in Sonny, uh, live Sonny Mountains, two to three miles from me. This is a pic where you can hike to the top. So this is in Georgia. How gorgeous is that? Reminds me of the Grand Canyon, not deep enough, but you know, anyway. So thank you. This is going in the postcard pile too. And then one last thing that I got from Besties was from Christy from Crafty Country. She has her own channel. She's so sweet. She just sent me some crafting supplies, which I love because we all know I love my furniture markers. I can never get enough of those. I'm always busting these. Like, I bust them all the time. Do you guys bust them too? I'm constantly busting them. Um, but I just keep replacing them. <laughs> Pulls them away. I don't know. But she, this is, I'm in Arizona. How cute is this little set? Can't touch this. Ding, 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 ding. Can't touch this. <laughs> so it's, like, it's so cute. Got little cacti on it. Um, so I love this. I'm putting it in my kitchen. Chrissy, thank you very much. Super adorable. And then this, which I have the wrapping paper like this, or it's very similar, but I haven't seen these napkins. So I'm super excited to Mod Podge these onto something. I love this. So, um, and it's just really pretty. Are these from the Dollar Tree? Mm -hmm. Are they? I don't know. Or are they something that the Dollar Tree brought in and sold to the Dollar Tree? Because that happens like all the time. So Christy, thank you so much. You guys, she has her own channel. Christy's, uh, it's called Crafty Country. And um, she does Dollar Tree crafts and all kinds of stuff, fun stuff. She was so sweet when I got to my thousand subscribers and she made me this beautiful sign, which I've talked about before. If you go back, you can see those in my videos in the past. All right enough right let's dive into what i just picked up my ticket was 175 dollars don't tell marcus anyway it's fun i got some cool stuff and i was super excited so the first run is always more expensive than any other run after that because you're like oh, no 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 have to have have to have so in no particular order because i'm just grabbing my bags from down below here because i literally just unloaded them out of my bug so first of all, this is a $1.25 item. Obviously not everything in here is more than $1.25 because it's still a Dollar Tree, but then they have the Dollar Tree Plus area. So <laughs> nobody welcome here. Um, okay, it's Easter, I know. And I don't need anything more Easter and I don't even need to do any more Easter crafts, but we know I'm going to. So, okay, one of the reasons I got this was because this was a $1.25 and when I compare it to some of the other stuff, I would have to say there's some really good buys in the Dollar Tree Plus. However, there's still phenomenal buys in the dollar twenty-five areas of any of the, you know, if it's, if it's Dollar Tree Plus, they still have amazing buys. So this was one of them. I hadn't seen this before, so I don't know how I've missed it. But there was a couple other signs I got that I hadn't seen before, and I'm like, wait, what? Are they coming out late? I don't know. 
But I'm just gonna tell you right now, this will literally go on a totally easy Tuesday because I'm gonna embellish this sign by putting little um, little ribbons like on their little ponytails. Um, I thought about if I had like just solid color wood beads, I might, but then I thought maybe I would try some colored beads. Anyway, I'm just gonna do little things. I'm gonna outline the letters so they pop just a little bit more. So just by giving them the slightest little dark outlining, they'll pop even more. So this is gonna be super easy to do, but it's also gonna look really cute and it's just gonna upscale it so simple. So that will go on, probably be on Tuesday's video. Sorry, reaching over to put it in the Easter basket. <laughs> so anyway, it, I hadn't seen it before. And there's some other stuff like that. But I'm gonna dive into some of the, you know, I'm always buying food at the Dollar Tree. And um, so today was no different. So I'm just getting these, some of these are repeat buys. All right, this is a really funny food product because I tried it on a Foodie Friday months ago and I didn't like it. So this is how things happen. Then I bought it again because I'm like, had I tried this before? And I, was it, somebody told me, yeah, you did, you didn't like them. But then I tried them again and this time I liked them. Don't know why that happens, it does. And sometimes you just acquire a taste for it. So these are 280 calories for the entire bag. All right, but for me, this screams after a night of drinking midnight snack <laughs> that I can split with Marcus and we'll only get 140 calories. Probably just shouldn't, shouldn't eat anything after that, but we do. Um, and then I found some more of these because these are my absolute favorite. I take them in my lunches every day. They're like the perfect little mid-morning snack or even late afternoon snacks. So I don't know how long they're going to be there, but every time I see them, I'm buying a couple of bags. Um, this was something new, and so I picked it up to throw into Foodie Friday. And it's um, a nut roll that is, it's cinnamon churro nut roll. I don't know. So I'm gonna throw it in Foodie Friday. We'll give it a shot, right? And then, so I have a Foodie Friday coming up where, sorry guys, I'm gonna pull some stuff out of here, where I'm trying something called veggie chips by this company. Some, I don't know how you say it, Samai, Samoy, Samai, maybe? Anyway, so then I saw these by them. So I grabbed these two, because I'm gonna tell you the truth. I've already tried the vegetable chips. Marcus has not yet, so it'll be new when he does it. But they're amazing, they're so good. So I've been looking for them, because I wanna buy more. And then I, I did, I found a few more bags, but then I found these two, same company. So I'm like, I have to get those and throw them in Foodie Friday. I think we're doing a Foodie Friday. Um, well, it's Beans, it's not Foodie Friday anymore. I keep saying that, it's bean, Beanies and Robes. Sunday, Sunday smacks, <laughs> Sunday snacks. Beanies and robes, Sunday snacks. Not bad, what do you guys think? Okay, so uh, along the food items that are going on Beanies and Robes show is these dates, never seen these before. So I wanted to try these. And so they're going in the Foodie Friday, I mean the Beanies and Robes pile. I'll get it right one day. And some other interesting items that I've never seen there before. And they were rice ones. And these are by Eat Regal. And they're, um, they're 90 seconds in the microwave. So uh, when I find the other ones, I'll show you. This one is jasmine rice. So I got that to try. And also, there's another package of these. But this is by Crazy Go Nuts. And they're maple walnuts. There's another flavor when I find it in another bag. So this is also for beanies and robes. Just found all kinds of food for beanies and robes. It happens. I feel like that the food portion of Dollar Tree is just blowing up. And I have to assume it's because they've gone to the um because they've gone to a dollar twenty-five, I think. Okay, some fun stuff in this bag. I am sending off the Easter baskets for the kids, right? And so I was like, I don't know, should I put it in a basket? What should I do? And then I saw they have all these really adorable Easter baskets out right now. And I saw these and I was like, I don't know. It's just too cute. You're awesome. <laughs> ah! So I got two for the youngest little boys to put all their stuff in and put it in a box for their Easter baskets. Thought that was super cute. I found something for the granddaughter too. I'll show in a little bit. And then I found these. I mean, I had to. Come on. 
are you breathless? Because I am. I was like, oh, it's so cute. But what I want you guys to see, look at that detail in these. So stinking cute. I don't even know what I'm going to do with them. I really wish this, this would have been connected though. Like why isn't there a little tail sticking off here that I could connect it to? I'm going to have to like just set it next to it. Anyway, and it's totally out of proportion, but that's okay. We still love it. So, um, I'm not even sure. Like, do I just put something in the, in here that's like, um, you know, seasonal. And I thought maybe I could get little curtains in there because you can go in the bottom, right? So I thought, well, oh, I could just hang little curtains in here. I could put something over this, like a window. Um, I don't know. And the bed of the truck is like that. So you can definitely put stuff in the bed of the truck that would be seasonal. They were $3. That's so cute. So cute. So I was thinking like, would it be $6 at a Hobby Lobby or would they be like $6 a piece? More likely. I, I don't know. Don't you guys love that? I think they're so adorable. Absolutely adorable. And then um, this bag. What's in this bag? Uh, no order, you guys. Sorry, it's my new way. Oh, I found some more of the bottle brush carrots, which I absolutely love these. So I grabbed a few of those. And I mean, I kind of have some ideas, like a wreath would be really cool, but I'm really just gonna throw them in my Easter stash because they're what, what I would consider a staple for me for Easter decorations because they're so good. Like they're really high end looking and you can use them in so many things. Um, so I found them again and I know they're not something that you're always gonna be able to find. Some of those better pieces, like when you see them, pick them up. Okay, so, and brand new facial wipes. Mm. Okay, so I buy facial wipes there all the time. But this is by a company called Tada Beauty. Tada! And um, it is distributed by, well, they're made in Korea. They're distributed by Yes Sales Incorporated um, out of Los Angeles. So they, this is rose petal. But here's the thing. There's 80 wipes in there. The Bolero ones, facial wipes, 30. And this has 80. So I was like, mm. and I love this packaging on both of these. This one is tea tree gift basket. These are beautiful. 80 wipes in there. They're substantial in weight and size. They're perfect for doing a beauty basket. Mother's day is coming up. You guys start grabbing kind of this kind of stuff. But, um, I was going to see if I could open one. I think I'll open the, um, I think I'll open the rose petal for you and smell. Let's do a smell test, a sniffer test. Yeah, they smell very rose. That's very pretty, actually. So, and this is with rose petal with retinol, aloe vera, vitamin E, and shea butter. It's 15.5 ounces. This one is with collagen, aloe vera, vitamin E, and witch hazel, the tea tree one. So let's see what the tea tree one smells like. I don't know, you guys, for 80 wipes for $1.25, I was thinking that seems pretty good, right? I like it. Yeah, I mean, it's not as strong as the rose because it's the tea tree, but it smells like tea tree. So I thought these were super, super good buy. Never seen them before, brand new. Let me know if you guys have seen it before. I didn't even look them up. They're probably some name brand that's like way more expensive because that's how this goes, right? Then um, I just grabbed this one because it's been a while since these are the magnetic half ones. Like you could put them on your fridge if, you're, if your fridge takes magnets. But I just loved the deep eggplant purple on this one. So I just grabbed one just cause I wanted this. I don't really care about this. I wanted this. And I just think it's super beautiful. So threw that in my cart. Cause who doesn't need some of that? Um, okay. They do the wood die cuts, which I talked to you guys all about the time when I use them, I say soak them in water cause you can break it in half and you get two except for words. Cause then the word is backwards, right? So you can't do it with words, but they've been wood. This is, this is not wood. This is pressed cardboard. Mm. I'm like, you're cheating us. But it was so cute because it's like a key. I got it anyway because I didn't don't have this one in the wood and it's probably not coming out in a wood because they've done it in this. So this throwing this in my Valentine's, obviously, right? But I just wanted to show you guys. So now there's pressed wood ones. I mean, pressed cardboard ones. The wood ones were way better. So I'm not sure why they've gone to this, but maybe they think we'll buy it anyway. I did. <laughs> There's that. 
And then also in the crafting supply, this is brand new. These are, they're calling them glitter patches or iridescent patches. All right, I'm gonna talk about this for a little bit. So these, it appears that um, you iron them on. Now, obviously I only found these two colors. So you would have to have an array of these to be able to do something like this, right? Because you'd have to have those other colors to make the ice cream. But I thought you could certainly cut a heart out of these and iron it on to something. I'm gonna put it in my DT clothes bag, which I've gotta get to one of these days. And then this one I just thought was super cool. It's very iridescent. Don't know, maybe a star or I don't know. I don't have a shark, so I can't use that. But what I wanted to point out to you. So this one, which is glitter, two in there. Iridescent, one. So obviously this one's more expensive to make, I'm gonna guess. But brand new, look for these if it's something that you would have fun with. The other thing is great craft with kids because you could get them a t-shirt at the Dollar Tree, speaking of, I'm gonna show you here in a second, and buy some of these and let them cut out their own shapes and design their own shirt and iron it on with them. Fun craft for kids, very fun craft for kids. So I found a t-shirt. They had a lot of polos there that were great colors, but they were all like small, so I couldn't get any of those. I'm not small, neither is Marcus. But this was an extra large man's t-shirt so I bought it for Marcus because he, in the especially in the wintertime, I know it's not winter right now, but we know it is still. Technically? Yeah. Is it spring? Possibly. So anyway, he wears, he'll wear a collared, colored shirt underneath his really nice long sleeve shirts in the wintertime. And so to get colors is really fun. And it's $1.25. This is a Gildan, which we're seeing there all the time. $1.25. It's a no-brainer. Like literally a no-brainer. And then this, got the very last one that they had there, but this is also, like just, I mean, look at these two things together, right? Look at the beautiful colors on the tea tree, and then look at this. These are little emery boards. Oh my gosh, it's by V, V and A, which I don't know who the heck that is. Produced under the license by Wild and Wolf. It's out of New York. So it's a set of six printed emery boards. But wait, aren't those beautiful? Oh my gosh, I was like, these are so pretty. So it's all of them are the same, I'm just checking. Nope, we have more patterns, hold on. So look, you get two, oh, that didn't work. You get two of each pattern. So you get two that look like this, you get two that look like this, and then you get two like this. What a great little Easter basket, even like for a teenage girl or a young woman. So really beautiful, um, very high end looking. I lost the top and look at this. It's just, it's so cute. $1.25. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's that. Let's see. Where to next? Um, oop, another bag with some goodies in it. So I think this is more food stuff. Yes, it is. Okay, here's the other, here's some of the other rice. They had the Spanish rice, 90 seconds on this. So I'll put this in beanies and robes. Um, I mean, that was super exciting. And then, yep, there was, I got a couple of those. And then brand new for beanies and robes. This looks so good. I'm, mm, and if I like it, it's gonna be bad. But these are cashew, coconut cashew crunch from Coconut Island. This is, um, it's small, 2.5 ounce. Look at how good those look. So it's premium cashews, chocolate drizzle, drizzle, shredded coconut, butter and brown sugar, sea salt. Yeah. I don't want to like them. But again, if you were going to do a food basket, very high end looking, just to do a nice little food basket. That's going in beanies and robes. Um... What else is in here? Oh, and here's the other rice. So there was three rices. There was the jasmine, there was the uh, Spanish, and then the long grain in these 90 second pouches. So easy, 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 easy. And I like that. So we'll be trying those. And I did grab, you know, I'm always buying this for backup milk here, because then run out of milk is in your pantry. <laughs> you can still have your cereal in the morning, because that's important to me. Okay. Um, where to next? Oh, so I'm going down the Dollar Tree Plus aisle and I see these and I'm like, what is that? I had to buy one of each color. So let me just show you. 
They have, I'm assuming that more colors of this are gonna come out because these look like very spring -y, Easter ish y colors, all right? So let me just show you the colors first off. All right, there's the colors that I got. It's a pretty little flower. Guess what these are? These are pre mixed pouring paint. You don't have to mix your acrylics with the pouring compound, it's already here. I haven't done one yet because. I even like, oh, I gotta mix it up, blah, 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 blah. and I have to put the pouring paint into my acrylics. And so it was how this was like, yes. So these were $3. This is eight fluid ounces. Okay, I am going to do a pouring paint project maybe this week because I'm dying to do one and I think it'd be so fun. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about because you, there's a thousand videos on YouTube that you sit there and just stare at because it's so beautiful to watch it. It goes, and then they pick it up and they move it and the colors all mix. And I'm like, oh, I wanna make one so bad. So again, these were the colors that I found. I don't think there's any, I think I got one of each one that they have right now. But those, those seem to be very Easter-ish colors other than the red and the black. But maybe this is all of them, I'm, but there's no blue. Like they would have to have a blue, right? So I'm sure there's gonna be more. Um, I don't know, I'll keep my eye out for them, but I'm kind of excited about that. So, cause I needed another paint supply of anything. Ugh, I didn't, it's okay. I'm gonna use them. Or, at the very least, when the grandkids came to visit, I would absolutely do a pouring paint project with them because it also would be so much fun with the kids. So, next is, this was new in their um, garden section, so these were $1.25, but they're super cute. They're not very big, I gotta say that. They're just not very big. But these are little stepping stones, cement stepping stones. Were meant to be cute, for a buck 25. Um, don't stop beliefing. So these do get damaged easy though, right? So I got the best ones I could, but you can just take a little paint and touch that up and then grow, grow through what, grow, grow through what you go through. <laughs> grow through what you go through. Okay. Anyway, very pretty, right? Um, I feel like these would also be an excellent addition if you were going to do a garden basket for Mother's Day. You know, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them. I always say that. I'm not sure, I don't know, but I got them, okay. <laughs> They'll probably go out in my outside area somewhere. All right, where to next? All right, so I did buy another little Easter basket thing and this is so cute. And there are these like little, you know, the little, what do you call this size bucket? Like an ice bucket kind of thing, but it says, shake your cottontail. So this one I bought to use is like the Easter basket for my granddaughter because these little things, so they can use them for other storage. Like she can turn this one around and use it in her room. It won't be Easter, right? So there's that. Threw that in there for her Easter basket stuff I'm gonna mail off. And then on the Dollar Tree Plus aisle. Oh. I don't need it. Effingham, this like, looks like it should go in your area. I'm gonna need to put another shelf by his little farming area. Yeah. Yes, you are correct. I know, I'm aware. It's a milk can, I know. So, first of all, I love that, what is this called? Um, lambs, isn't it lamb something? So I love that. I've never found it at the Dollar Tree in the greenery, so it was, I was excited to find it here. And then this is just so cute. Obviously, this needs to have some stickers or something put on it. Maybe some jute twine around here. Maybe add even something a little more into the greenery. It's a super easy upscale. But this, I would have been happier had it been $3. It was 5 I got it anyway because it's super cute and it's going to be super easy to upscale. But also, if you were going to do like a, a gardening basket, this would be a super cute thing to put in a gardening basket with some gardening tools and some seeds and those stepping stones and just super cute. But um, yeah, what's it called? Lamb's breath? <sighs> Somebody tell me. I know you will in the comments. Okay, so Dollar Tree Plus, $5. I love it. I think it's very beautiful. And then there's this one. <laughs> also, $5. Uh, but it's a little topiary. So I like had all kinds of ideas about this. This is the kind of thing that you can put in your home and you can literally change it seasonally. So, I mean, at Valentine's, you can stick some little hearts in here. At Christmas time, you can put some little miniature ornaments. You could do a ribbon for, appropriate for each 
You could put a little ribbon here or a ribbon around here. You could just decorate this for year round, make it very boho, add some jute twine. I have no jute twine here, but even if I take this, cause I have my right now in front of me for crafting, I have my burlap ribbon, but look, just even taking something like this and putting it on there, just pops it up so much. You can make this look so boho. Um, and so I kind of like that on both of these things, we get to take it to where we want to take it, right? It's not already tchotchkeed up. We get to tchotchke it how we want to. So I like that. I also like that they have the little pebbles, which they are very much glued in. So they're not going to come out. So I very much like that as well too. And this is nicely done. It's not, there's not like a bunch of empty space. It's very full. So I think that's very cute. You, you know, you could buy three of these and take the topiary out and make like a really substantial topiary piece and then just keep these for using for something else. I should have done that. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't. But an idea for you. So um, I like, again, I like that they're sort of plain for us to do what we want to do with. All right, next bag. Don't even know where I'm gonna go. Okay. Um, oh, these are the veggie chips I'm talking about. You guys, these are so good. Oh, they're so good. Okay, and they're veggie chips, so aren't they good for you? I don't know. No, probably not. All right, let me take that out of there. What else is in this bag? Grab some pickles for Marcus. He loves these for his lunch, so grab those. And these are the other go nuts one. They're banana, so they had maple and banana. I don't know if that's all the flavors. That's what I found. So I'm gonna try those on beanies and robe. I think that's all that's in this bag. Pickles, walnuts, and veggie chips. <laughs> Sound like I'm pregnant or something. All right, so more Dollar Tree Plus items. Oh, but first, let me show you these. These are $1.25 items, and I was like, where have these been? Never seen them, never seen them. And they're very beautiful. They need to be upscaled, absolutely. For sure, look at this, Hope. Look at the little chickies. I feel so much like, and maybe I'll do that with this one. I feel like it's, I mean, it's Easter, right? It's got the Easter tag, but I feel like I could take this one and make it so non-Easter just by adding some three-dimensional florals and covering up the chicks. And maybe that's what I'll do to make it a spring piece instead of the Easter. Because the Easter, I think, gets really lost. You almost can't tell that these are chicks. But I love the faux wood grain. I love the font of hope. I think it's all very beautiful, very well done. But there's more than that. They have this one, which I also think is so beautiful. Love, and I actually really like the graphic of their bunny. Again, the faux wood, um, the love there. I just, this one's very pretty. I absolutely want to three-dimensionalize some of the florals. I want to maybe give it a ribbon up here. Maybe even do something with the egg part up there. Not, I, I don't know yet. And you know how that goes when I'm doing it, then I'll know. And then this last one, which again, I'm, I'm loving the color choice on this one. So that mint and peach color and the faith. So these three, but I also want you guys to, to note that they are all three shaped differently. Am I gonna be able to do this? Yeah. So look. None of them are, like, I love to do, put their signs together. I can't with these because they're all, they're three different shapes. See that? So they're all individually different. Um, but I think I will take this one to spring. I just feel like, and isn't spring full of hope? Like, you're so hopeful for, you know, it's just, yeah. So I love them all. Never seen them. $1.25. That's a very good deal. I was very happy to find those because I don't need any more Easter. And then on their Dollar Tree Plus. Okay, so it's just a, what you know, um, hold, because I'm gonna do a comparison for you. Okay, so this was $3, all right? And this is like a good size little tray. It's not, I mean, it's not bad at all, but we can get these little trays for $1.25, but this, this is one that I did. It's so cute. It was one of my shabby sheet things. And look at that. So this is worth the $3 to me. This is adorable, but it's far less practical than a tray this size. And I wanna, maybe those, maybe those um, napkins that Christy sent me, 
to Mod Podge onto this, be super beautiful. Um, but you can see just a comparison in what we're getting for, was a dollar, dollar twenty five now, and then this is three. So when I say, I think there's some good buys to be had at the Dollar Tree Plus. I'm, I'm, I love this. There's so many options. You could just Mod Podge just the base of it, and you could, you know, stain the rest of it, or even not stain it because it actually kind of has a nice grain to it. So you could just use the natural stain that with the, the Rust Oleum natural stain that that they were selling last summer, I think. Anyway, but there's your comparison. This is, I think, a very good buy for three dollars. And they also had these, and mom excited about this size. So three dollars. I can't wait to take a calendar page and mod podge it onto this because it's going to look amazing. And so I should do that the same day that I do the the tray. But just this is a good size. So I don't have the old size, but. You know when you compare it to this right so this is much bigger and and their plaques are probably only about this big when we buy the wood plaques that they've had there before so three dollars for this i like the size so yes i only grabbed one like i didn't go absurd because i have a lot of craft supplies i don't really need you know a ton more but it's nice to have those options when the creative juices start flowing i'm like i don't know what i'm gonna make and i go out there and be like oh i think i'll play with that today um and then this, which I think is really interesting. I don't have the one that they sold for $1.25, but this is an easel, and it's a good size easel. This is probably 14 inches tall, and um, it's great when you're gonna make a sign or something um, to put, you know, like, even to, to, you know, to do a seasonal sign and change it out on some place somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so it's an easel. Or you can paint on it. No, I don't think so. It'll be strong enough. Okay. And then this was $3. They had two other ones. They had two other sun ones. They weren't quite as large. They were basically the same size as the sun. Different style. Or they were all the galvanized. But um, I kind of liked this one. It was the largest piece. It was the same price. They were all $3. And I have the suns out in my one garden. The one garden area I have in my backyard. I have suns there. And so I bought it to put out there. Um, cause I didn't need it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I didn't, but I had to show you what they have there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go into this bag in here. Oh, she's so cute. $3. She's so cute. So I don't know if I'm going to upscale her or not. Cause I almost kind of like her just the way she is, but I did think like, I could definitely, you know, add a little bow or something, or I don't know, maybe nothing. Maybe a little bow in her hair might be really cute. Hair, what hair? Um, so she was $3. Look, she's on like a spring, so she, you know, she's like a bobblehead. <laughs> maybe some lace on the bottom of her dress, or some, wait, do I have it here? Let me see, I don't think I do. But that really cute, colorful lace, I am going to do that because it would be super cute and it would pop it up just, to, just enough. Oh, or like the, um, the pom pom garland that we've all been finding. I could add some of that to it. So I'll do something to her. I probably will until easy Tuesday, but at $3, thought she was adorable. And then this one, which was, this was $5. Okay. Let me just tell you this. They had a blue one that had, um, 4th of July stuff in it. I went, I, at first I was going to grab that one. Then they had another one that had watermelons and like corn st stalks. It was kind of weird looking. And what color was that one? Was that one red? Could have been. And then they had this one. You know what? I picked up the blue one and then I put it down and I picked up this one. Do you know why? Because I was like, I can change the back. I can make this any season that I want it to be. All I got to do is change what's in the back. So I ended up going to the white one. But I've got to tell you, so it's, I mean, it's, you know, it's a tin. It's a tin truck. It needs to have little buttons put here. We need to clean up some of these lines. I would actually probably darken this a little bit. Um, I'd probably put a little faux wood on these. Um, maybe put some buttons up here for some headlights. There's all kinds of cute little things that you could do to it. And then you can change the back. But for right now, I actually really, really love the sunflowers, even though they're completely out of scale, because it always is. It's okay. I love this. I think it's so cute. And it was $5, okay? So... 
You know, one of the things I think about the Dollar Tree Plus stuff like this is that it's it's a more substantial bones for you to work with than the stuff that you're getting for $1.25. But I don't feel like you're gonna buy as much of this as you do of the $1.25 stuff. I feel like the $1.25 stuff, you're not gonna buy three because I can't because it's $1.25. Whereas this, I just bought one because I only need one to, you know, play with it and upscale it and, and use it as a decoration. I hope that makes sense. I'm not even sure. Okay, and then I never buy wreaths. I bought one for you guys. This is why. So they have these wreaths there and they were, it was $5. Okay. First of all, I don't, what is this? A styrofoam starfish on this wreath. Don't understand it. Didn't understand it. They were all broken. I found one that had three, three starfish on it. They weren't broken, which I was taking off the wreath. But what I wanted to talk to you about, why I bought it for $5, is because this wreath is not the kind of wreaths that we're finding in this size there for $1.25. If you counted up the different picks they have in here, you would have more than four picks in here. So I was like, all right, so if it was $1 and $4, that's gonna be more than $5 if I had purchased the supplies for the $1.25 to put it together. But it's a great base for making a wreath, right? Where's my carrots? Where's the carrots I bought today? Perfect example. I can take these starfish, why they're starfish, I still don't know, and put my, I can't find my carrots. Put my carrots that I just bought. They're under all the food over here that I threw over here. So it doesn't matter, I don't know where they are. Okay, but those little carrots, those bottle brush carrots would look so cute on this. I have to find them because I have to show you. They're here somewhere, I swear they are. They live, oh, here they are. So look, if I just took some of these carrots and took took the starfish off and put some of these carrots on it, ah, oh, I might have to do that. And then put a really beautiful Easter bow. See, this is another thing where you could keep it as a base and just switch out seasonally and, and have a seasonal wreath that you just pop these things in and out of. This actually looks so good. I think I'm gonna have to do that with these. Okay, so now I know what I'm doing with the wreath first. But these starfish, I don't understand them. And that one's got a broken leg. They all have broken legs, by the way. Are they supposed to be starfish? Or are they supposed to be some flower? I, I don't know, but they're coming off. They're just coming off, I can't stand them. They're just awful. But these are gonna look so so adorable on here. That is just gonna look so cute and so farmhouse. So I'll be doing that probably on Tuesday too. Okay, last bag. Oh my gosh, we're down to the last bag. It goes so fast when it's from the Dollar Tree Plus because the things are a little more expensive. Um, okay, so this was $1.25, but this is Cor Cora Star. Um, gloves and so I literally I'm sure this is a brand name I'm sure it's more expensive than a dollar 25 and they only had the medium size but it did fit me I tried them on because I was like if I'm gonna do pour paint <laughs> hmm I probably don't want to just like you know paint my hands all up so I thought I would put these in my craft um, tool bag and so that I have something like when I'm doing something like that and I'm or when I'm dying when I'm using stain I hate it you get stain all in your fingers and I'm horrible about it. I'm like a sloppy crafter. I'll get it all over me and then for days trying to get it off my fingers. Yeah, that's me. Okay, brand new. This is so cute too. In their gardening section, $1.25. It's a squirrel feeder. So you bolt it onto your tree and you put corn cobs on here to feed your squirrels. So how cute is this? It's a squirrel feeder. Squirrel. Yeah. So I'm taking it up to the property because I just thought that'd be a fun thing to put up there. But you know, you don't even have to put squirrel. You could put like, a, a, you know, when you do the bird feeder thing and you fill it full of seeds. I can't think of it right now. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. And then um, this is, this was $3. I love this. It's a wood panel. It's like that box top shape to it where it's got a lip on it. So here's the thing. This could be done either way. I have to put down my last thing I'm gonna show you. This could literally be done either way because you could you could decorate it on this side, but you could also decorate it on this side. It's like a reverse canvas. When we reverse a canvas and we use the frame and then we put the canvas on the back side so that we can three-dimensionalize in here, 
So this could be done both ways. You could double duty this piece because you could put something on this side like a calendar page and then you could put a calendar page on this side that's seasonal and you could switch it. So I don't know which way I'm gonna use it. I purchased it just to throw into my craft supplies, but I love it. And this is, does it give us the dimensions? It's a 12 by 12. So the calendar pages are 10 by 10. So you literally could Mod Podge a calendar page on this, rip the ends of it to give it sort of a farmhouse feel and, and sort of sand it onto it on the edges and really weather it. It would look very cute. And then if you did it on this side, you could three dimensionalize with some greenery or some objects or something to give it, to give it a pop, a little more depth to it. And then just put a hanger on this side or use it both ways and put a hanger up here so you could flip it on your wall, right? So a lot of things that you could do with that piece. I, I, I picked up some random things like, I don't know for sure what I'm gonna do with them. I'm just gonna add them to my craft supplies. Okay, now the last thing I bought. Uh, the very first time I went into a Dollar Tree Plus, I saw these and I was like, oh, I should get two to make myself a stovetop cover. I didn't get them, I regretted it, and I hadn't seen them since, and I found them today. So I was like, yes. So I don't know if this is, I don't know what two's gonna do. Should we find out? Let's find out together. All right. So my theory is, it's not bad, you guys. There's probably like, um, probably three inches around that are covered. I think I'm okay with that. Um, and, but what I could do is take the wood pieces that are $1.25, they're wood um, pieces that they're now selling us. They're not like two by fours or one by four, whatever size they are. I could literally frame this like a great big tray that I could put on top of my stove top. I get so tired of cleaning my stove top. Is anybody with me on that? I was like, ugh. So this isn't a perfect fit, but the other thing is too, is that it's a manageable thing. So if I attach these two, or Marcus does, and I put some handles on them because I have handles from the Dollar Tree, then I could just have it be a tray that I lift off and move around. Also becomes a great piece for serving food on if you're having a party. Um, and, and I just, I wanna try it. <laughs> Something I've never done before, but I'm gonna try it. So I just think that this would be, um, it's nice to have over my stove. First of all, my microwave is right above my stove. So every time we microwave, you know, you bring your food up, I'm messing up the stove, which is one of those glass top stoves. So you always have to scrub it. I hate it. Wish we could have a gas stove here. I can't. So I think that this would be really cool. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do with those. All right, that's not the last item. Hold. So I have hauled these from there before, but there was new ones today. And I'm like, yes, I need those. I just need them. So I'm gonna show you the worst one first. And I almost didn't buy this one, but I thought, no, I'm gonna buy it to show you guys and I'll upscale it. But this one, it's, the idea is cute. It just didn't get completed. So this is a welcome sign. They're $5. All right, so I'm gonna talk about this. Look, there's a gnome, right? So he's like three dimensionalized over that. He's actually kind of a cute gnome, but these, Okay, so the letters are not three-dimensionalized, and I feel like the graphics on the on the water on the watermelons on the sunflowers are like cheesy almost. So I was so not impressed, but I got it because I will upscale it. Because then I wanted to show you like why would they have one be so cheesy and then have these? So first there's this one. Love this one. It's like, oh my gosh. Hello, Summer. How are you today? This one is so pretty. So I'm bringing it up close so you guys can see. Look, it's a faux wood. They've done a superb job on their lettering because they've sort of shadowed it, right? These are sticking out slightly. It's just pressed cardboard, they're not wood. But look, their color choices are phenomenal. It all goes together super well. This is a beautiful piece that I will be happy to put on my front porch and I probably won't even do anything to it. And this needs like nothing to it. It's so good. So, but when I compare them, I'm like, no. So I got it, just so I can show you. And also, I can always use this as a base for doing something else on. Like, you don't have to use the graphics that they have on it. This one I will keep. And then there was this one. I got one more. This was the first one I saw and I grabbed it right away. But again, it's, so, it's good. It's really good. Check this baby out. It's your 4th of July welcome sign. I love this. I think it's 
perfect. So well done. The balance that they did with the blue stars in the top and the bottom. And again, their letters are slightly, you know, raised. And um, it's just, it's so good. I think the E might be crooked. Doesn't matter. I don't care. So, or is it the L? Anyway, I love this. And I don't think it needs anything. But what I probably will do is they so last year I made them, I think at 4th of July, they had the galvanized stars and I did like a cluster of them. This would be super pretty with a cluster of galvanized stars hanging off the side of it, just leaning on your front porch. I love it. So here's the other idea I had. Since 4th of July is in the summer, I was like, why can't I just attach these two and flip? Right? You could totally do that with them. But the welcome one with the gnome, I'm just not so sure. Again, it's just kind of cheesy. Just li literally, if you compare these two, you guys, there's just no comparison in person. Maybe on film it looks better. It doesn't though. I'm just telling you, like the sunflowers seem to be like blurry. So I could pop it up by three-dimensionally my sunflowers, adding some jute twine around it, doing something else to like maybe giving him three-dimensional little mushrooms here. I could add some mushrooms down here even. So there are things that I could do, um, but I'm not in love with it at all. And I will probably just use it as a base for something else. I'm not sure I'm gonna upscale that one either. But the other two were phenomenal. Okay, so that was my Dollar Tree Plus haul. The very first Dollar Tree Plus that is near me, yes. And um, so I was super excited to do that. I have some wonderful crafts that I've pulled that I'll do from that. Some of them will be next week even for you. And I hope I gave you guys some really good crafting ideas. I know you don't all have Dollar Tree Pluses. They're coming. I guarantee you they're coming. It's just like the $1.25. It just started happening. And now, is there anybody still out there that has a dollar? Dollar Tree? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good question. Any of you still have a dollar out there? Um, so, so, like I said, I think the Dollar Tree Pluses are going to eventually be everywhere. Um, and good. I like them. And if you don't like them... I, you will. Trust me. You'll end up liking them. And I know I've had several people message me and go, they sell that stuff at Dollar General. Uh-huh. I'm sure they do. I'm not going. And the reason I'm not going is because I can't get addicted to another store. It's not, it's not good. It's just not good. So I'm sticking to my Dollar Tree. It's my store. It's, I love the hunt. I love to find these things. And I just don't have all the time in the world to be like shopping around going into Dollar General small. I just don't. So I'm not going to. So I'm going to stick with my Dollar Tree and whatever they bring me is always a surprise and I love it. So anyway, all right. I think we should draw a winner now. Pause. I'll draw the winner. We have a winner. Okay, so this person wins the three. I buried them, you guys. I buried everything over here. Because <laughs> I just show you and then it gets piled over here and then I put it away. Anyway, um, so this person whose name I just drew wins the coveted... Easter bead garlands, which I will be giving another set away next Saturday. All you have to do is comment on today's video. So these three little beauties were won by somebody new, by the way. Um, I don't know if I don't know this person. I mean, this person has commented. It says, hi, I always love your videos. You are so crafty. This is Frank Kwizanowski. <laughs> Did I say that right? Kwizanowski. Frank Kwizanowski. Frank. Are you a Francis or are you a Frank or are you a Francis using a Frank's video? I don't know. I don't know. We're not gender specific here on Bella's Bargains. So, um, you know, whatever you want to be, just let me know. I know. Effing, Effingham, we're all aware of your inability to choose. It's okay. No, we still love you. So, Frank Krizanowski, you won the coveted Easter beads. So, Make sure that you contact me via Facebook Messenger, which is down below. The link to my Facebook page is down below. And um, message me privately and give me your address, and I will gladly send you off your little beads. How exciting. And then, don't forget, comment to, for today's video, and you get to win. There's another drawing for another set. And next week, I'm giving away the also very coveted Easter gnomes. Thank you, Emma. Everybody tell Eminem thank you for all the fabulous things that she has sent me to give away, to do as giveaways. So very gracious of her. So, all right, guys. I love you, Bestie, so much. Have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. We'll see you back here tomorrow for Beanies and Robes Show. 
Beanies and Robes Sunday Smackers. Sunday Smacks. Sunday Snacks. The Beanies and Robes Sunday Snack Show. What do we think? Okay, that's it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked that. Tell me what the thing you're going to be hunting for at your next trip to the Dollar Tree. Toodles. Thank you.